How's it going, Data Bites? There's no data here. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin in competitive mode because I feel like it. Even though we already got the Hollow Axe, I'm still going to be in competitive mode until the season ends. And would you take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen? There are some brand new maps in Assassin. If you guys are not aware, which you probably already are aware, but if you are not aware, there are two brand new maps. This is one of them. This is Castle Keep 2. I don't know why they call it 2. I mean, I guess it was Estate 2. Was it Estate 2? Yeah, but no, that was Estate version 2. This is just Castle Keep 2, the sequel or something. I don't know, but this is Castle Keep 2. So we have that, and we also have a, a bank revamp. Did you climb the tree? I didn't know, wait, I didn't know it was possible. Can we climb this tree? We can. That's interesting. Wait, can we like, yo, you could totally hide in here. Yo, bet no one's going to find me. Actually, that's not true because when there's two people left, they actually show you where he is. Yeah, you can see the little skull right there because there are only two people left. So it shows locations, which is kind of annoying, but you know. Okay, but you're going to die, good sir. Thank you. Good night. But yeah, there is a Castle Keep revamp and a Bank revamp. We are going to play them in this episode, but next episode we will have a whole video dedicated to these maps. We'll go through all of them in detail, but we'll show the secrets, we'll show the Easter eggs, etc. Stuff like that. So we'll talk about that in the next episode. This episode, however, if you look in the shop, you will see that there is a brand new Mythic, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new Inferno Mythic that you can buy for 2,000 Robux. Rather expensive, I've got to say. But regardless, like every single bundle, even though this really isn't a bundle. But regardless, just like every single bundle and every new purchasable knife, we are going to buy this glorious new Mythic. If you guys are excited to purchase this brand new limited time mythic knife, then be sure to drop a like on this video and comment down below Inferno. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe because next week we are going to start the Legend Hammer giveaway. So be sure to subscribe to that so that you are notified about that. So without further ado, let us purchase this glorious mythic knife. Here we go. We are going to click purchase. And without further ado, let us buy Inferno. Three, two, one, boom. There we go. We just purchased it. Let's go into the glorious inventory. And there it is, guys. The brand new mythic, Inferno. Been a while since we've had a new mythic. Well, we did have Grim Scythe, but other than that, it's been a while since we've had a new mythic. So now we have Inferno. So let us try out this glorious knife. Let's use let's use Dragon Fire. That seems uh, that seems natural to use Dragon Fire. And here it is, guys. The brand new Inferno mythic knife. Super cool. It's still using the magic effect, even though I equipped Sinister Flames. But whatever. I like making people purple, so. I'll work with it. This knife is quite large, as you can see, and obviously it has some fire symbols. You can see there's a fire symbol right here. The whole thing is just one giant red and orange knife. Super cool. The handle's kind of gold, which is very nice. It also has some spikes. If you look very closely, you can see some spikes, except, wow, th those spikes are literally going through my hand. That's gotta hurt, not gonna lie. As you can see, it has an effect of its own. It seems to be a sort of orange flames effect, which is interesting because we've never had an orange flames effect. We've had many different colors. We've had red, blue, pink. I think there's green. One of the competitive prizes was purple flames, but we've never had an orange flames effect. So yeah, the Inferno knife has an effect of its own, just like some of the mythics. You know, some mythics can have their own effects. And, you know, this knife does have an effect of its own, and it does seem to be a sort of orange flames effect, which we've never seen before, so that's pretty cool. Also, speaking of map, ladies and gentlemen, the Asylum map is here to stay, which is pretty surprising, because uh, but we thought this would just be for Halloween. Usually there's a exclusive Halloween map, and then it immediately gets removed, but Asylum seems to be here to stay, so, you know... Long live Asylum. I'm pretty happy. I really like the Asylum map. Also, there's a symbol here. Has this always been here? I've literally never noticed this symbol until now, so it's kind of weird to see it. But let's kill some fellas with the brand new Inferno. Are you my assassin? You are not deceiving. I saw my target, but I think he's gone right about now. Are you my assassin? You are. 
face the consequences of your actions of nothing really. He really didn't do anything. Oh, that's my target. Dang it. Rip. There was really nothing I could do because I was walking through the door, so I really didn't have any options. Can I win? Dude, it's competitive mode. It's kill or be killed, dude. Come on, you have to win this. But yeah, guys, be hyped for the video regarding the maps. We're going to break down pretty much everything. Pretty much everything you need to know about the maps. We're going to break it down one by one and show you everything you need to see. All right, but you're going to die, all right? Th that's for last time, buddy. Now you're on fire and you're burnt. All right, let's go down here. Where is Tan Carmen? Because pretty soon he's going to be burnt Carmen. Never mind, he's dead. So I doubt he's burnt that much. So yeah, the final target is revealed, which honestly makes things so much easier. Like I could just do this and it's just, it's so much easier to see where they're going to go. Like I could not make a read like that if the final target was not revealed. You basically know where your target is at all times. And it's awesome. It's honestly awesome. It makes the game so much easier and just so much more convenient. Because, like, you're not going to get camped out by some camping noob at the end of the game. That's not going to happen. You know where your opponent's going. You can kind of tell their pattern or where they're going to go. So it makes the game so much easier and just so much easier to win. It's great. Except, I don't think they reveal the final target if it's like a 1v1. Let's say it's like only two people in like a private server and you want a 1v1. Then I don't think they reveal the targets because that would be... That would be a lot harder to do at one-on-one -on -one if you know where that person is at all times. Well, I guess it could be better or worse. I don't know. That's kind of opinion-based. I knew that guy was my assassin and I really wanted to kill the AFK person before he killed me. But yeah, I'm really glad Prisman implemented that feature. I was kind of hesitant about it at first, but now it is a lot better, honestly. It, is, it makes the game so much better and so much easier, and yeah, it's great. All right, QB, my assassin? That was so convenient. Thanks for being my assassin. What about you? All right, wrong player. I got greedy there, but you know what? Young NBA, he needs to die, all right? All right, there he is. We're going to kill him. We're just going to throw a knife, and that didn't work. You know... What I love about certain knives when they have their own effects, you can just see the glow. Like, my knife just glows down that hallway and it looks super cool, even though I died. But I, I kind of wanted to show how my knife was like glowing down the hallway in the darkness. It was like a torch or something. I think this room is a good example. Like, look at it. You see how it just glows in the darkness? It's awesome. It's so cool. I think other knives do that as well. I think Frostbite's a good example. Yeah, look at that blue color. I, I love the subtlety of that. It's just so cool. Neon Ancient. It, the room itself is kind of purple, so it's a bad example. But you can see the glow here. Uh, magma. Magma also does the same thing. Look at that. Super cool. Uh, what else? Dream. I mean, pretty much all the dreams have this glow because they all have their own effects. Champion X. Yeah, it has a bit of a red glow. That's cool. Oh, someone's walking in with magma. All right, you're kind of ruining the effect here. But whatever. I'm just going to go. Man, remember when we went like a whole year without getting any new mythics? And now we have a bunch of new mythics. Like, look at that. That is awesome. Like, this year we've had... What have we had? Behemoth, Wrath, Cosmic Eye, Fang. Those are all new. Seraph, Competitor Blade, Grimsythe, Inferno. It's amazing how many new mythics we have. But yeah, guys. Regarding the value of this mythic. First of all, this... I guess this counts as a bundle, sort of, even though it's really not a bundle, but, you know, it's something limited and on sale, which we usually have every now and then. But this one is very interesting, mainly the fact that it's not actually a bundle, it's just one singular knife. It is a mythic. We've never had a purchasable mythic for Robux. Obviously, Cosmic Eye, you would buy it for coins for, you know, a little while. That was scrapped. You get Cosmic Eye from the Heroic case now. But yeah, this is the first ever mythic that you would buy with Robux. And when I talk about the Inferno, I'm going to compare it to, you know, the exotic bundles. Just because we've had so many of them and we know what happens to the value of those bundles. So I'm just going to compare it to those bundles so that we can make an accurate prediction of what entails regarding the value of Inferno. Firstly, this knife is very expensive in comparison to the normal bundles, all right? Bundles usually range from like 400 Robux to 700 Robux, depending on how long they last. Usually if they last 
longer. It's going to be a little bit more expensive to compensate. And then usually these shorter bundles are a little bit more cheaper just to give people a little bit more of an opportunity to actually buy it. So yeah, usually a bundle is like 400 to 700 Robux. This knife alone is 2,000 Robux, which again, in comparison to the bundles, that is an insane amount of Robux. Not only that, but it lasts a very short amount of time. At the time of this recording, there's only nine days left. It's actually a 12 day long uh, purchasable knife. So it's only available for 12 days. It is very, very expensive which should in the long run help its value however you have to know that this knife at the end of the day it is still a purchasable knife and usually knives like these you can buy they drop in value very quickly because there's really no challenge to it you know as long as you have the money you just get it instantly there's no challenge to it you don't need any locks to unbox it or anything once you have the money, you have it. So these purchasable knives, they pile up very, very quickly. You know, one moment, there's rarely any of them at all. And then the next day, there's just tons of them lying around, you know? So usually with the bundles, you know, they're more cheaper and they last longer. They usually start around four to five exotic value. And then they usually drop down to two to three. And at the moment, this knife is at a whopping 45 exotic value. That is right, guys. This purchasable knife, you can buy this thing, and it is currently at 45 exotics, which is insane. But it will certainly drop. I'm going to say that it is going to drop in value. By how much? I'm really not sure. I honestly don't know. Because again, this is a new-ish type of a knife, so we really don't know exactly what's going to happen with it. You know, with the average everyday bundles that we get every single month, we've had so many of them, we know exactly what's going to happen to the values as soon as they come out. But this, this is a slightly new type of knife. Like, obviously it's the same concept, it's still a knife that you purchase with Robux, but it is a little bit different. It's a mythic. It, it's expensive, it's short, it's a mythic instead of an exotic. So it is a little bit harder to tell where the value is going to go. I'm going to be very generous in my estimation. You know, it's going to be very broad because I really don't know exactly where to pinpoint this value. But if I were to guess by the time that this knife is going to be off sale, I'm going to say 10 to 20 exotics. Now obviously, that's a 10 exotic gap which is very vague. I'm going to say that. It's very vague, very rough estimation, but I really don't know where it's going to go at this point, so I'm going to make my estimation very broad. And then once this knife goes off sale, it will eventually start going up in value once again, but just like the bundles, I feel like it's going to be a very slow process, all right? Very slow process. You know, the bundles, they kind of go up in value. They could go up from like two to three, but bundles going up in value, it's extremely slow. It takes a very long time for those values to go up. I feel like it's going to be the same for Inferno. It could go up a little quicker because I feel like the demand is going to be a bit higher because, you know, it is a Mythic, so Mythics are naturally higher in demand. But I don't think the value for Inferno is going to go up that quickly. It will go up, just not very quickly. But hey, we'll see what happens. Again, this is a new-ish type of a knife. We've seen something similar to these before, but you know, it is, it's a bit of a twist because of these slightly new circumstances. So we're just going to see how this plays out. We're just going to see what happens to the value. And then we will know for the future in cases, you know, any other purchasable mythics in the future. I do feel like this was a good idea overall because let's be real guys. Exotic bundles, they're old. Like, obviously we get new ones constantly, but the concept itself is just so old. We're just sick of those old exotic bundles. We're sick of that concept. So I like how, you know, it is the same concept, but with a twist, all right? I do like how unique this is. I like the originality of it. I do feel like there's going to be more of these. If I were to guess, I feel like Prisman's going to do more of these. These expensive, short purchasable mythic knives i feel like there's going to be more of them which is a good thing because you know new knives you can purchase new mythics but it's also kind of a bad thing because let's be honest if there was only like one exotic bundle like the first exotic bundle to ever exist was azure like 
Let's say there was only one of those and there were no other exotic bundles. Like, obviously, there would be a lot less exotics, which would suck. But Azure would be so much more valuable, honestly, because it would just be a lot more unique. I feel like all of the other exotic bundles have kind of hurt the value of these older bundles like Azure and Pumpkin King, Candy Blade, Crypto, stuff like that. So yeah, it would be cool to get more purchasable mythics, but it would come with the price of hurting the values like Inferno. Like that would hurt the value at the end of the day. But in all honesty, I wouldn't mind a couple more purchasable mythics. I feel like that would be very good for the economy of Assassin. Having more mythics, there's always room for more mythics because let's be real, we have so many different exotics. And compared to the amount of exotics that exist, there are still rarely any mythics. I feel like another cool idea would be purchasable limited dreams, because we really don't have any limited dreams at the moment. Obviously there's champion acts, but that's a competitive prize and it's obtainable at some points and other points it's not obtainable. So that's kind of a gray area. But we really don't have any limited dreams. And that would be a good place to start, like a purchasable dream, maybe like 10,000 Robux, which does sound really expensive, I'm not going to lie, that does sound really expensive, but keep in mind, this is a dream we're talking about, alright, so we need to make this very valuable. And maybe make it really short, like a week, like a week long dream, 10,000 Robux, that would be valuable, that would be extremely rare in the future, let me tell you. And we need like really expensive dreams because at the end of the day, dreams are not too valuable. They always drop in value. They never grow up. Like exotic tier, exotic tier is still the best tier. It's still the most expensive tier because we have stuff like Elegant Blade, Holiday Saber, Krampus, Skeleton King. Like exotic is still the best tier. So to have like a limited dream to kind of balance it out a bit, I feel like that would be really cool. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that idea, because I feel like that's a really cool idea to have a new purchasable dream knife. Alright, we'll play a couple more rounds of the Inferno, and then we will end off this episode. And then next episode, we will check out the brand new maps. Alright, you my assassin? You're not. Alright, not very helpful. Let's jump down here, walk through... I guess this is... Is this a library? Well, it's, it's bookshelves, I guess, but whatever. Let's kill our target. I saw him, but now he's gone. Can you be my assassin? Yes, thank you very much. All right, boom, got a kill right there, and that's my last person to kill. All right, gonna, let's hang out here. Let's hang out here, nothing to worry about. Throw a knife, all right, let's back out. I feel like it's not a good place to fight in. Throw the knife, dang it, rip. All right, throw the knife. All right, we should be fine here. Let's just hang out here, not a problem, not a problem. Throw the knife, boom. All right, that should've hit. That definitely should've hit through the knife now. All right. We're getting good timing. Boom. Oh, you, you stopped for a minute. All right, that's not very helpful. You you keep stopping when I throw the knife. That's not helpful. All right, boom. There we go. We got him. GG. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in the actual video on the new mask. But what I, I like about the new Castle Keep is just how open it is. Like, I feel like the original Castle Keep, like the hallways were really cramped. Like, even here, you can see just how much wider these hallways are. So it gives you a lot more fighting room. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, little details like that really help out the maps. All right, one person left. He seems to just be standing there. Let me throw the knife at him. Oh, he's moving. All right, not very helpful. I'm just going to hide there. All right, not a problem. I can, I can walk around that. You're jumping up there. Oh, hello. All right, now we're just gonna 1v1. All right, fine by me. I can kill you. Boom, that, that should have hit. That definitely should have hit. All right, throw the knife here. That also did not hit. All right, boom, there we go, GG. And with that, that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Assassin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and those are the things that YouTube people do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Toodles.